Hey guys, it's Jennifer with The Family Fudge, and in today's video, I'm sharing four amazing but budget-friendly Christmas gift basket ideas. All of these gift baskets only cost about $10 to put together. I'm also sharing my best tips for creating perfect budget-friendly gift baskets. Great to give as neighbor gifts, teacher gifts, you could give them to coworkers or even the ladies from church. And these tips can be used for any type of gift basket you want to put together, whether it's Easter, Valentine's Day, or even Mother's Day. So my first tip is to actually go to your Dollar Tree as early as you can. I like to go right when they open. That way you can have the best selection of items. I actually passed two Dollar Trees on the way to my favorite Dollar Tree, I always go to that one because it's usually always clean and well stocked. Sometimes the Dollar Tree that you go to can make a big difference. Okay guys, so once I get to the store, the first thing I do is to look all around the store to pick out the baskets I want to use. Now this year, I couldn't actually find any traditional gift baskets like I normally can find. So instead of using an actual basket, I'm going to use one of these plastic reusable containers instead. When I'm looking for a container or a basket, I I actually want one on the smaller side. That way the basket's gonna feel really full with just nine or 10 items inside. And I'm also looking for a container that doesn't have open sides. And I'll show you why when I start building my gift baskets. So once I know what containers I'm going to use, I set them up in my shopping cart, and then I start looking for the other materials I need to go on the outside of the baskets themselves. To fill the bottom of the basket or container, Dollar Tree usually will have some of this decorative shred, but what I really like to use is tissue paper. I feel like you get a lot more for your money if you use tissue paper, and it's a lot less messy, plus the tissue paper comes in a lot of different colors and patterns, and I think it's really cute. The next thing I need for my gift baskets are gift bags. Now, usually the Dollar Tree will have two different kinds of bags. Now, with this type, you only get one bag. This is the type where you can actually use your hair blow dryer to help shrink the plastic so it can fit nice and tightly around your basket. But I really like to use these other ones. With these ones, you actually get two for a dollar, so it's a much better deal. And if your store doesn't have either one of these, you can always use a roll of gift wrap, or sometimes you can find a clear plastic wrap in this section and use that as well. The next thing I look for is bows and ribbons. Now the Dollar Tree, especially around Christmas time, usually has a pretty big selection of both of these. To get the biggest bang for my buck, I like to use these. They already come tied. I think they look really pretty. And I like that these ones are sparkly, but they don't have glitter because glitter that falls off everywhere is definitely a pet peeve of mine. So now I'm finally ready to go around the store and actually pick things to go in the baskets. And as I'm filling my baskets, I have four different themes in mind. So now I'm gonna take you back home with me so I can show you exactly what I picked up for these four awesome baskets. Okay guys, so now that we're back home, I wanted to show you the containers I ended up with. I actually ended up finding these guys in a different part of the store. I think these are really great because they almost look like metal buckets yet they are plastic, but they also have some really nice metal handles on either side too. So now let's start building some baskets. First up, I'm going to put together the Hot Cocoa Lovers Basket. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I've been seeing some super cute hot cocoa stations on Instagram and on Pinterest. So that's definitely the vibe I'm going for with this basket. And you guys, this basket is actually meant to be enjoyed by two people. So the person I'm giving it to can share it with someone special in their lives. Now, of course, you can't have a hot cocoa basket without some super cute mugs. So I picked up two of these at the Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree actually has a lot of Christmas mugs right now, but I really like these ones because of the gingerbread houses on the outside and because they're actually kind of a taller, more slender mug, so I think they're really unique. These are both microwave and dishwasher safe, which is great. And for just a dollar, you actually get one mug with some of these hard caramel candies inside. So it's almost like getting a two for one deal. Now, before I put these into my gift baskets, 
I do want to go ahead and remove all the tags, any tape that might be on there, and pretty much all that extra stuff that just screams a Dollar Tree. And I'm also going to remove the candy that came inside the mugs. But don't worry, I'm not throwing it out. I'm actually going to repackage it so it looks a little bit nicer. I thought it would be super cute to take all of the candies that came in the mugs and put them inside this adorable gingerbread house box. Right now, the Dollar Tree has so many of these cute little boxes in lots of different colors and patterns, but since there are gingerbread houses on the mugs, I'm gonna stick with the gingerbread theme. And I think it will be an awesome surprise to open up the box and find candy inside. But there isn't quite enough candy to fill the entire box. So what I'm gonna do is take tissue paper, I decided to go with green here, and I'm going to place it down inside the box, just like a little gift box. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add all of those candies right on top. Now this box looks nice and full, I can go ahead and add on the lid. Next up, I'm also gonna be adding in some hot cocoa mix. This one from the Dollar Tree comes with six individual packets with marshmallows as well. And to dress this box up just a bit, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up like a present. I found this really cute gingerbread themed wrapping paper at the Dollar Tree. It totally matches my mugs and the candy box. And since I'm only going to be using a small portion of this wrapping paper, it doesn't add a lot of cost to the basket overall. Next, I'm going to take this really cute glass jar. It's not technically a mason jar, but it's basically the same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and fill this jar with extra mini marshmallows. And this jar only fits about half a bag of marshmallows, which is still plenty of marshmallows, and it's gonna help keep us under our budget. Now to dress up this bottle just a bit, I'm going to tie a red ribbon around it. But you guys, I actually already had a lot of this ribbon left over from when I made my edible Christmas gifts last week. I'll go ahead and link that video down below if you missed it. So since I already had this ribbon, I thought this would be the perfect place to use it. Next, I'm adding two ginormous candy canes. Now originally I wanted to get a box of regular candy canes, but my Dollar Tree only had giant ones or little itty bitty candy canes. So I decided to go with these ones. These will be perfect for a hot mug of cocoa. I absolutely love candy canes on my hot cocoa. It is such a delicious combination. And then lastly from the Dollar Tree, I also picked up a little container of ground cinnamon. And to dress it up, I did go ahead and add another little piece of my leftover ribbon. Now you guys let me know in the comments down below what you would add to your hot cocoa basket. I'm sure you guys have so many awesome ideas that I haven't even thought of. And now it's time to put this basket together. For all of my baskets, I always like to start with one or two pieces of tissue paper just to fill in the bottom. This is gonna act like a cushion for all the items inside the basket, but it also gives a really nice decorative feel as well. Next, whenever I'm putting together a gift basket, I always start with the largest, tallest item first. And I like to anchor that right in the middle of the basket against the back edge. Once I have that in, I pretty much just play around with the different items, trying to keep them as balanced and symmetrical as I can. I like to arrange the items facing forward so you can see them. And I like to put my favorite item front and center. So for this basket, my favorite item is definitely that gingerbread house box. It is so cute. So as you can see, I put it right here in the front center of the basket. Now I'm gonna go ahead and open up my gift bag so that it's spread out and ready. And then I'm going to very carefully lower the entire basket inside the bag. And I'm gonna try to keep this in the center of the bag. Then I just have to gather up the top and using a twisty tie that came with the bag, I'm going to add on the bow. And here's a quick tip, you guys. You see the corners of the bag, how they're pointed outwards? And I'll actually just tape those little corners of the bags around on the back side where you can't see them. Next up, I'm putting together a movie lover basket. Now, of course, movie lovers come in all different ages, but I'm actually gonna be making this basket for a family. So this will be a family-friendly movie basket. Then, to go in this basket, I picked up three different DVDs. Now, you would be surprised how many Christmas DVDs you can actually find at the Dollar Tree. And not just kid movies. I saw action movies, romantic movies. They're not like new release movies or anything like that, but still really good movies, especially for just a dollar. So I decided on these three DVDs. And then, of course, you can't have a movie basket without popcorn, right? So I went ahead and picked up a box of this movie theater butter 
popcorn. There's actually three bags in there, so that should be enough for a big family. And it also picked up some of these really fun popcorn holders. I think these are such a good deal from the Dollar Tree, and they definitely make movie night a lot more special. And since you actually get three of these for just one dollar, it's a pretty good deal. And then we have the movie candy. Dollar Tree actually has a lot of Christmas themed movie candies right now. I decided to go with just three boxes. I picked up some of the Christmas Mike and Ike candies. I also picked up a box of these Christmas Lifesaver gummies. These are actually probably my favorite. And for the chocolate lovers, I also picked up a box of these Christmas style Junior Mints. Now I'm thinking that these are probably some of the most popular movie candies, but I would love to know what you guys think. Do you have a favorite movie candy? Let me know down below what it is. And finally, I have one more treat for this movie basket, and that is a teeny tiny box of Danish butter cookies. Now these are definitely a Christmas time treat around here, and usually these come in a much bigger tin, but I have to say this mini size one is actually really cute. Before I start building this basket, there are are a couple of things that don't look very Christmassy in their original packaging and that would be these two. So instead of putting them in the basket just as they are, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap them both up like presents. So to build this basket I'm going to start just like the first one with a couple layers of tissue paper. I'm using two pieces of plain tissue paper on the bottom because you're not really gonna see those. And then I'll use one piece of decorative tissue on the top. And then just like my other basket, I always like to start with my tallest item first. That goes in the back middle. Then I'll put my other taller items in the back as well. Then I'll just fill in all the rest of the items where I can. Now I'll wrap this guy up just like the first basket and it will be ready to go. This next basket is all about being cozy. This basket is perfect for a person who loves to hang out by the fire, listen to some Christmas music, and just relax. And now, just like my other baskets, this one's actually meant to be shared by two people. So the first two things that I picked out for the cozy basket are these really beautiful oversized mugs. And just to show you how oversized they are, here's a regular size mug. These really are nice and sturdy. Now you guys, I cannot tell you how surprised I was to find these at the Dollar Tree. These are actually amazing quality for just a dollar. They're both dishwasher and microwave safe. If you found these at Target, they'd probably be like $5 a piece. So the next thing I'm putting into the cozy basket are two decorative containers of chicken noodle soup mix. Now you guys, how cute are these? I love the little snowman on the outside. With this type of soup, you only have to add hot water, so it's not gourmet or anything like that. Oh yes, and they also had one with a penguin on the outside too, which was super cute, but I decided to stick with the snowman. The next cozy items I'm putting in the basket are some Betty Crocker mug treats. Now if you guys have never made a mug treat, you definitely should give it a try. I actually have a video on different treats you can make in mugs. I'll link it down below if you want to check it out. I decided to go with two different flavors. This first one is a fudge brownie mix, and the second one is kind of like a fun fetty mix. Now the next thing I think of when I think of the word cozy is fuzzy socks. Fuzzy Christmas socks to be exact. These guys are super soft and extra stretchy. The Dollar Tree had lots of different colors and patterns, but I decided to go with the little elf socks and the reindeer socks. Okay guys, so that's already eight items. And so to keep this basket on budget, I'm just adding one more thing, and that is a cozy candle. Now you have to be careful when you buy candles from a Dollar Tree, not from a safety standpoint, but from a smell standpoint. Not all the candles from a Dollar Tree actually smell very good at all. So now before I start building this basket, I want to go ahead and dress up these boxes of mug treats because as you can see, they're not looking very Christmassy. So for these, I'm going to go ahead and wrap them up in this really pretty buffalo check wrapping paper. And I love that this one also has little snowflakes on there. So for this basket, I am going to go ahead and put a little bit of extra tissue paper just to make sure that those ceramic mugs are nice and secure. Next, I'm going to add in the soup packets followed by the mug treats. I'm gonna go ahead and stuff the cozy socks inside the mugs. Then I'm going to add one more piece of tissue paper so I can put the candle in this spot. Okay guys, now I have to be honest with you, there's just something about this basket that is not working for me. I feel like I need to rearrange a few things just to make it look a little more cohesive. 
And that's really one of my biggest tips when it comes to building gift baskets. If your arrangement is not working for you, don't be afraid to move things around into different positions, into different places, until everything fits together the way you like it. For this basket, I decided to put the soup in front so we could see more of the snowman. And with just that small change, I think it looks a lot better. Now I'll go ahead and wrap this guy up and he'll be ready to go. And lastly, I'm going to be putting together a spa basket. This basket is all about relaxation and self-care. Now, believe it or not, the Dollar Tree actually has quite a lot of skincare and hair care products. So it was actually kind of hard to narrow this down to just eight or nine items so that I could stay under budget. The first thing I picked out for this basket is a super soft eye mask. This one says do not disturb on the outside. And before I add it into the gift basket, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the packaging. Now again, sometimes I feel like once you remove the packaging, you almost can't even tell that this is just a Dollar Tree item. Next up, I'm adding in an item for the hair. This is a coconut oil deep conditioning hair mask. Now I love a good hair mask, so I definitely wanted to include this. Then I'm also including another hair product, but this one is actually a super absorbent hair wrap. So this hair wrap is a great way to keep your hair out of your face while you're showering or applying skincare. Next, I'm including an item for the face. This is a moisturizing paper facial mask. This is in the coconut and sea salt variety. And you guys, even though these are from the Dollar Tree, they're actually paraben free and color free. So I think that is great. Next, I'm including a scalp massage brush. Now you guys, this might be my favorite item of the whole basket. These little brushes feel so good on the scalp. And I kid you not, I've seen brushes just like this on Amazon for like six bucks. Next, I have something for the person who loves baths. Again, these are in the coconut oil and sea salt variety, and it actually comes with three little bath bombs in here. So now focusing on the skin, I did go ahead and pick up some coconut oil and sea salt body cream. This stuff is super thick and super moisturizing. Okay guys, so that's seven items already, so I just have two more to add so that I can keep this basket on budget. I definitely wanna include this little skin brush. This is perfect for exfoliating. And then last but not least, this really cute BPA-free reusable water bottle. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I think of spa treatment, I always think of a special rehydrating drink, something with water, lemons, cucumber, that sort of thing. So I think this bottle will be perfect for that. And then as you can see, to make this basket a little bit fancier looking, I did go ahead and pick all items within the same color family and scent. So these are all coconut scented. So it's not just a bunch of like random things that I picked from the Dollar Tree. So now putting this basket together is a little bit tricky. These items are definitely a lot smaller than the items of my other baskets. And there's really not one big tall item. So for this basket, I am gonna go ahead and use a couple pieces of tissue paper at the bottom. That way I can sort of prop all of the spa items right on top. I'm going to arrange them all facing outward so you can see them. And then just like all of the other baskets, this one's also getting a bow. And I'm going to tape the edges of the bag. Now I would love to know in the comments down below, out of all the baskets I showed you today, which one is your favorite? Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and hit that red subscribe button if you're new. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.